My store leadership would tell me to lie to my clients to sell products and make gold. to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be filming something a little spicy something that you guys actually requested today we're gonna be doing another get ready with me because you guys are loving them and so am I but today I'm gonna talk about why I quit working at Sephora now I haven't worked at Sephora in many many years but I want to kind of get into okay, hold on people are trying to interrupt filming so I want to talk about why I quit working at Sephora, the ins and outs, the pros and cons, all the good, the bad, the ugly, the unfortunate, and where we are now. So you guys asked for it and I'm here to deliver. Let's get into it because we have a lot to discuss. So I'm going to be listing everything I'm using down below so that I can focus on the story time and not so much the makeup. We're just gonna be doing everyday makeup, nothing too fancy. But I'm really excited to tell this story. I feel like I've told it maybe once before many, many years ago, uh, but let's get into it. First, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera because you guys know that takes forever. But before I do that, <sighs> we love it. <laughs> okay, so let me sip some water because I feel like, <sighs> So let me start by saying, if you guys are here for like some tea about Sephora or anything concerning that, you're not gonna get it from this video, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> the reason why I left Sephora was strictly because it wasn't for me. I'm not that type of person to go badmouthing former employers. I could only do that to one employer, but um, according to certain legal matters, I won't be doing that. I don't anything negative to say about Sephora so let's just start there. Let me first start by giving you guys a little background about how I ended up at Sephora. I'm sure a lot of you know but um, I have a background in psychology. I have my bachelor's in psychology, my master's in psychology and I think I either started working at Sephora while I was still in school to receive my master's or right after. I can't remember because it's been so long, but pretty much I say that to say that working at Sephora was always a dream of mine because clearly I love makeup, I love beauty, I love everything of the sort, I love educating you guys, I love talking about things that I'm passionate about. But that's not necessarily my background. My background is in psychology. It might have been after I got my master's. I just wanted to try something different. I have been in school at this point all my life and I wanted to do something fun, something that was a passion of mine. So I applied for Sephora Insight JCPenney. And we're gonna get back to that uh, in a bit. But Sephora Inside JCPenney, I'm not even sure if that's a thing anymore um, because I know Sephora is like in Kohl's now. But nonetheless, I applied for Sephora Inside JCPenney because I knew it would be less competitive. And at this point, I had a YouTube channel, but I didn't know too much about beauty other than like the people I was watching and the things that I knew on my own. So part of me wanted this experience because I wanted to learn. I'm a true nerd, I love learning new things and I knew that Sephora would provide me those opportunities. You get education every month. I knew it would really take me to the next level and it did. So I applied, I got the job, it was amazing. I loved it for the first probably few months I absolutely loved it now I also have worked in retail before so that's one thing I want to mention if you want to work at a Sephora now I can only speak for Sephora inside JCPenney you know it's not just about <laughs> your love of makeup you have to also sell makeup it's a retail job and I of course have had retail jobs before and I like them now this was like when I was younger I think in high school and your job is to sell so the first thing I learned quickly about myself is that I am not supposed to be working in sales. I am a psychologist by trade. So let me tell you the type of, uh, what was I called, beauty advisor? I don't know. So this is how it would go. 
It's Saturday, the mall's busy, you come into my store, and it's an Urban Decay event. So I have on my makeup, but nobody told me it was an Urban Decay event. So people are asking me, oh, I love your lipstick, what do you have on? And I'm just gonna say it, I'm always honest. My store leadership would tell me to lie to my clients to sell products and make gold. Now, here's my thing with that. If you would have told me a few days prior that we were having an event on Saturday and it was Urban Decay, I would have even spent my own money to get said products to really properly promote them because I have no problem with that. That's my job. But don't let me come to work not prepared and then tell me I have to lie and say this is Makeup Forever or Urban Decay and it's not. So I was that uh, beauty person. I forgot what we were called, but I would say, this is Mac, go to Mac and get this. And I'm not saying you should do that, but what I am saying is always be honest and always have integrity. I would hate for someone to purchase something that I recommended and then come back and say, girl, this is not the color. That was one thing <laughs> that I pretty much learned about myself very early on is that you care too much about people and how they feel. Like, I wanna make you happy. I don't care about meeting this sales goal. Also, we didn't even make commission, there's that. Now, this was also years ago. I don't know if you make commission now, but nothing is really incentivizing me to lie to my clients. Like, I wanna see you happy because that makes me happy. So, I started realizing that, you know, maybe this isn't for me. <laughs> I am more of a people person in that I want people to be happy. I want you to come to Sephora and know that your girl is gonna hook you up, you're gonna feel fabulous, look fabulous, and your confidence is going to be on a thousand. That's what makes me happy. And also, I'm sure you guys can tell as I'm talking about my experiences at Sephora, I'm coming alive. This is really a passion of mine. Yes, I have degrees and certifications and all that jazz, I won't call it crap, but this is like my little ministry. You know, we're sitting, we're talking about makeup, it's light, it's fun, but you're gonna get a word. Don't worry, that word is coming. I started to quickly learn that maybe sales isn't for me. I'm not someone who's very competitive either. Like, I don't care about being the best, I don't care about winning. As long as I know that I did my personal best and I'm happy or I've done something to help make someone else happy, that's what matters to me. First of all, shout out to this Nars Foundation. She is just everything. But anyway, back to the story. Another reason <laughs> that I started realizing this is not for me, they wanted me to get certified in makeup artistry. And I think it was called a CMA, Certified Makeup Artist. Now, if you are a personal friend of mine or you've been watching me for a while, you know that I have never ever wanted to be a makeup artist. If I ever become a makeup artist, it's because I need quick money and I know that I can produce. But it just, I don't know. And if you are good at makeup on yourself and your friends constantly ask you to do your makeup, to do their makeup, I'm sure you can do it. But you also understand that makeup is not just about knowing how to do one thing on yourself. It's being able to translate it to lots of different facial structures, shapes, wishes, desires, everything like that. So that kind of started to like annoy me. Like they basically said, you have to be certified to do makeup. And I knew when I got onboarded that makeup artistry, it was not part of my job description. And let me tell you also why makeup artistry is just not my thing. Because at this time, Kim Kardashian's contour was so big on YouTube. Everybody wanted to come in and say, and I would just have to say, baby, but see, your facial structure is different. And so, you know, me being the honest, caring, kind person that I am, I don't have the heart to tell people, I'm not gonna be able to make you look like Kim Kardashian. You're gonna look like yourself. Now, I can beat your face to the high heavens. We can do contour and highlight and bronzer, but nobody can look like Kim K besides Kim K. You know, I just felt like I was being pressured into makeup artistry, which is not something that I really care to do. I have done friends makeup for baby showers and special occasions and such on vacation, but it's not something that I enjoy that much. So that was another thing. Um, ultimately, 
the straw that broke the camel's back was I just felt like I was becoming stagnant in my role. So I worked there for a little under a year and I saw that there were no chances for advancement. And this is me coming in with lots of other skills outside of just selling. Like I knew when I got my job at Sephora that I was gonna use it as a stepping stone, or so I thought. My ultimate goal would have been to work on the education side. I would love to be able to travel to stores and provide education. I'm still immersed in beauty, but I get to do a little more of what's natural to me, teaching, engaging, not so much selling. So I was ready to use Sephora as a stepping stone, but because of my store and certain uh, things that happened inside of my store, which we're not gonna get into, I just knew that I was never gonna move up quickly enough. And thankfully for me, I have degrees to fall back on, so I knew <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, also another thing, another huge distinction, working at Sephora inside of JCPenney was also made a little more difficult for me because all of the rules of regular Sephora you have to adhere to, no problem, I understand. But then you also have to adhere to the policies and procedures of JCPenney. So there was this thing called an ICAC, and that's basically a credit card application. Now, once again, I told you guys that I'm not a salesperson. Okay, I can do it, but I don't enjoy it. It's because I'm not that um, competitive. So there'd be a daily goal for ICAPS and you would have to try to reach the goal, but nobody wanted a credit card. So I was horrible at getting people to sign up for ICAPS, mainly because once you said no, that was the end of the conversation. Because as a consumer myself, when someone is offering me a credit card and I say no, the conversation is over. <laughs> so just know that Working in a freestanding Sephora is a lot different than a Sephora inside JCPenney. And if I could do it over, I would have gone with a freestanding Sephora. Um, I feel like there would have been more chances for advancement in my career if I wanted to stay in the beauty industry, being in a freestanding store. But also I feel like it would be more centered around Sephora and not so much JCPenney. I just realized that this isn't for me. I loved what I did because of how I was able to connect with my clients, but after a while, it just felt like what it was, working in retail. And I didn't have any work-life balance, and it's not like I had a whole family and things I had to really do, but I knew that I was gonna be stuck if I stayed at Sephora that long. Now, I'm not saying you can't advance yourself because I actually have one of my buddies from Instagram who started at Sephora Insight, JCPenney. I believe she's still there. And now she's a leader, which is like a store manager. So there are opportunities for growth, but you just have to be in a good store. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about some of the best parts of Sephora. I would have to say the best part besides my coworkers was gratis. Whew. Now I know you're probably thinking the discount would be the best part. I think at the time I was working there, the discount was 20% on everything and like 25% maybe on Sephora merchandise, like Sephora collection. But that wasn't the best part because baby, when you're making like maybe 11 or $12 an hour, I think at the time, that's how much I was making, and you're only part-time and you can't get access to greater hours. We're not gonna get into that. It's like, the discount, it's like, well, I'm still gonna be broke. <laughs> but gratis is where the fun happens. So like I said, education was what drew me to Sephora. Once a month, at least they said, <laughs> uh, it's usually once a month in freestanding Sephora's, but inside JCPenney, not so much. You would have leadership come to the store and basically give you education on all the new products. Now this was super important to me because I'm a nerd, I love learning, and I was able to learn so much about products and ingredients so that I could better sell products to my clients. And at that time I was on YouTube so I could also do plenty, plenty reviews for you all. And that was like the best part ever because when it was education day, you got your education and then you got a whole bag 
full of product. Free product that you could keep. Now, another con was that, y'all know I'm melanated. A lot of times they didn't have inclusive shades for everyone. Now, I did work in a predominantly white area, so that could have had something to do with it. I'm sure Sephora has gotten a lot better with inclusivity, but at that point, it was a bit annoying sometimes. Like, wow, everybody got these Lancome products and I can't even try them because I look like a ghost. But gratis was definitely one of the best parts about working at Sephora because who doesn't want free makeup? <laughs> and so if you are interested in working at Sephora and you love being able to try products out, you would definitely love gratis. And because you're not getting paid that much and your discount doesn't really offset that, the gratis is really, really important. At least it was important for me and I loved it. Gratis was probably the number two thing I loved most. The number one thing, <laughs> My coworkers, I loved and still do love my coworkers so much. I had friends in my store. I had a friend, well, she wasn't at the time a friend in management, but she was a manager at the store. Hi friend, she's watching now, I'm sure. And we are still very close to this day. Um, my friends that I met in Sephora were so loving, so accepting, and we were all so different, but I learned so much from them. It was just amazing. So, you know, while I learned from my time at Sephora that, girl, this isn't for you. I also learned so much about myself and I was able to grow and cultivate just so many amazing relationships with my coworkers. And I still communicate with a lot of them to this day. And every time I go to New York, we always try to get together and go out. That was definitely one of the best parts. You know, very seldom do I meet friends or coworkers or anybody who share a love of beauty. And I'm talking, these women are like special effects makeup artists. Like they are like top tier makeup artists. So I learned so much from them. Honestly, I stayed longer than I should have because of the people that I was able to work with. And though management overall at my Sephora site, JCPenney wasn't perfect, the people you work with, they really can make or break a job. Company culture is so important. Y'all know I have a background in HR. And honestly, I stayed so long. I think I stayed a little shy of a year because my coworkers were awesome. So shout out to you ladies. I don't know if you still watch my channel, but y'all know I love you dearly. Another con is that not only did we not work off of commission, we didn't even get bonuses except for holiday time. So holiday time, obviously it's retail, it's Sephora. Everybody and their mother would come into Sephora. And I think if you made over your goal, you would get like 3% of what the store made over that goal. I don't know. To me, that wasn't a very big motivator. Now, I'm not sure in regular Sephora if you make commission, probably not because it'd be hard to say like who sold what, but also it probably wouldn't have mattered to me because I don't care about metrics like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I know for a lot of people, because I'm sure if you work like at Nordstrom in the beauty counter, you get commission. So just know, at least when I was working at Sephora inside JCPenney, you did not get commission. And you really only got bonuses at holiday time because, you know, at other times throughout the year, you weren't really going to make goal. One, because there was a freestanding Sephora in my store. And two, because, you know, a lot of people weren't thinking, oh, let me go to JCPenney for makeup. No. <laughs> so overall, I loved working there because I learned so much. I got to be immersed in beauty 24 seven, at least when I was at work. And let's face it, it was fun. And it was way easier than working in human resources, that's for sure. But I decided to leave. Um, and at the time when I left, I went and got my SHRM certification, which is the Society of Human Resource Management or something like that. So I got certified in that and I've gone back for different certifications after Sephora, but you know, Sephora did teach me a lot about myself. I learned that you can make the best of your circumstances. You might not be where you want to be because I wasn't at that time, but take everything for what it is. Like I told you guys, I met some amazing coworkers. I was able to be immersed in beauty every day when I was at work. It was so fun. It was the most fun I've ever had at a job and that's why I'm I'm always pushing people to pursue their passion because working in HR 
It's also a passion of mine, but it's in a different way. Like this is creative. Sephora is creative. Um, HR is uh, you just using your intellect and your skills, your KSAs. But um, yeah, I love Sephora. I don't have anything negative to say. Would I ever work at Sephora again? Probably not. And the reason why I say that is I quit and I get to do exactly what I did at Sephora on YouTube. I can do it in the comfort of my home. I don't have to worry about eye caps. Signing up for Beauty Insider, which was a whole nother thing. Like people were afraid to tell me that I had to sign people up for Beauty Insider. So much so that if people didn't wanna sign up, they made you sign them up anyway. Like all these things that I just felt were not very, I don't know, like this just doesn't feel honest. <laughs> so I knew ultimately that my time at Sephora was to teach me to grow. It was to allow me to experience working in a creative environment because I had never worked in one before. It was to allow me to have friends in New York because before then I didn't really have friends. I went to school. I went to graduate school on Long Island. It's graduate school, nobody's hanging out. So I didn't really have friends, though I did meet one that I'm still close with to this day. But that allowed me to cultivate so many amazing relationships. I grew so much in my makeup artistry and also in what I knew about beauty. So I always look back on that experience with fun memories it was not always fun <laughs> you know it still is a job but I learned so much about myself and that's why I said you won't be getting any juicy tea from this video because I still enjoy Sephora I have a Sephora order that just arrived at my house today I just think it's important to know what is for you and what's not for you and at that time in my life I think I needed that break like I said I was going to school straight from when I was a child and it was nice to do something that I didn't have to like wreck my brain for every day something that I could leave at work I didn't have to have any stress around the job um, it was nice and I don't know actually if I hadn't taken that job if I would still be doing YouTube like who knows I started YouTube because my friends just told me to give it a try. Since uh, my freshman year of college, I had always watched YouTube a lot. And my friends were like, girl, just make a channel. So I'm not gonna say it was like a dare per se, but they definitely encouraged me to do so. But Sephora took my artistry and my knowledge to another level. That's why I say if I hadn't worked at Sephora, who knows if I would still be doing this right now? I don't know. So yeah, all in all, I enjoyed my time there. I don't miss it though. <laughs> um, I love being able to share with you guys now on my own terms on my channel with all the freedom of creativity and none of the desire to sell. <laughs> because I really learned that your girl is not, I'm not like, I'm not competitive. I don't care about making sales goals. And I know that probably sounds really crazy, but I do think it's important to know what type of person you are and what you prefer out of your working environment. I would rather sit at a desk and push paper. And I know for a lot of people that probably sounds crazy, but that's my personality. And it's weird because I really am a shy introvert, but how I am on camera with you guys, that's how I was at work. I remember once my parents came and visited me at work and they were like, who is this? Because this is not me day to day. If you know me in real life, if you've met me, I'm definitely a lot more low key, but this just shows how much I really adore beauty and just sharing and helping you all because it makes me come alive. So. I'm forever grateful for my experience at Sephora, but it definitely taught me very quickly what I didn't want out of a job and what I did. And what I did want to do was sit behind a desk all day and push paper, period. I, that's the life for me. And that just is what it is. And that's what HR gives me. And I can still use my background. I can still connect with people on a different level. And now I get to share all that with you guys on YouTube. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like I almost got nowhere with my makeup. This has taken so long. I want to do a little highlighter. Just because this, um... This foundation is so matte. 
and I don't want to look crazy. Ah, so, was this video what you guys expected? <laughs> I thought I had talked with you guys about why I left Sephora. And I always remember on my last day of work, we were doing inventory. And my now friend, hey girl, she told me that the JCPenney store manager was like commending me because if you've never worked in retail and done inventory, it's basically you on your hands and knees all day getting dusty, counting products and writing it down. Most people would probably say, buy, I'm not staying to do inventory. But on my last day, I showed up to work with no makeup to do inventory. And my store leader was like, what a great way to not burn bridges. And I always remember that because that's just the person I am. I've never been fired from a job. I've never done anything with ill intent, even though that job was not for me and I never told management why I was leaving, you know, the exact reason. I still gave it my all, all the way up until the end. Yeah, so that was my experience at Sephora. It is weird though, because sometimes like when I go to Linux and I walk into Sephora, I'm like, could I see myself actually working here again? And I don't know if I could. That was such an interesting point in my life, but I just feel like it would conflict too much with um, my YouTube. Like, how would I have time to film? <laughs> Okay, oh, I didn't finish my mascara. Y'all, I'm so sad about the Bite Beauty mascara because you know, Bite is going out of business. <sighs> this is my favorite mascara. And I did like that uh, mascara, but this is my favorite. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear now. I'm not about to do lashes every day. Okay, last step is my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, AKA my fave. <laughs> so guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it, you know just general makeup. And don't forget, I am leaving all the products that I use down below in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Did you learn something new about me? I hope this didn't deter anyone who's looking for a job at Sephora. I tried to, when I was creating my notes, I tried to format this video so that I shared my real genuine experience. It was never my intent to show Sephora in a bad light. I still love Sephora to this day. This is just my experience and I knew ultimately that this would not be my last stop. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think at that point in my life, my job suited me. I fulfilled my purpose in that time and space. And it's okay to move on sometimes. So yeah, let me know down below if you've ever worked in the beauty industry, if you've worked Worked at Sephora, if you've worked at Sephora and JCPenney, do you agree with what I had to say? I would love to chat with you guys, but I'm gonna get going. I love you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.